like to ask the Minister for Education, Sport and Culture what arrangements are in place for the monitoring of educational attainment of looked after children? On the Minister for Education, Sport and Culture, Mr Crugine, to reply. Uh, thank you, Mr President. I'm pleased to be able to the off offer the following information as is an area where my department is focusing a lot of attention. All schools have a, a designated teacher to oversee the educational provision and monitor the attainment of any looked after children on their school role. In addition, our Education Improvement Service has a responsibility for monitoring the progress of vulnerable pupils, particularly looked after children. For example, every time a school improvement advisor visits a school <laughs> to validate an area of the school's self-review and evaluation, the school is expected to be able to update the advisor regarding the progress and well-being of all looked-after children on the school's role. The attendance of all looked-after children is monitored closely, as this is very closely linked to attainment. Schools report on the attendance of looked-after children to the department every month. Officers from across the department have been working closely with officers from the Department of Health and Social Care and the VIP Council to develop new personal educational education planning process for all looked after children. This will be launched shortly and training sessions for education staff are due to commence in November 2019. The department is also exploring the duties of a, the value of a virtual head teacher and how this would, could potentially be incorporated into our work. This role is more strategic and wide reaching than the individual school's designated teacher role and involves looking at and challenging the educational achievement of all looked after children right across the department. My department is currently identifying a set of key performance indicators that can be used to measure and report on the progress and attainment of looked after children to the safeguarding board on an annual basis. Supplementary, Mr Baker. Thank you, Mr President. I'd like to thank the Minister for his very comprehensive answer and for the very welcome uh, initiatives that he's, that he's announced there uh, in terms of the education for looked after children. How satisfied is he overall with their educational attainment at present? Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Um, I hope you can tell by the measures that we're putting in, in, in the future that we think there is areas that we can improve on and we're more than happy to work with the Children's Champion and Department of Health to improve this. Honourable Member for Council, Mrs Paul Wilson. Thank you, Mr President. <coughs> um, I, I'd like to ask the Minister if he is able yet to talk a little bit more about the virtual head teacher concept. Uh, I'm conscious uh, from my own experience, particularly as a trustee of St Christopher's, that unfortunately a number of looked after young people and other vulnerable young people in the community unfortunately have sometimes very, very limited attendance in our schools um, and are on very, very limited timetables. In fact, the worst example I'm aware of is where a child was timetabled for one hour a week in one of our secondary schools. And so I wonder whether this initiative that he's raised, the virtual head teacher, if he can talk a bit more about that and, and, and how that, that is designed to assist. Thank you. Minister to reply. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Uh, the virtual head teacher uh, is a role in many local authorities in the UK. They look at the progress not only of individual looked after children, but also the group as a whole and in comparison to the population. They can identify trends, anomalies and action plans to counter against the identified trends. They uh, also ensure that every looked after child has an up-to-date and appropriately challenging personal education plan. They are able to challenge schools and hold them to account regarding making appropriate provision for uh, looked after children. As a department, we would be keen to establish something similar within our department. Honourable Member for Onken, Ms Edge. Thank you, Mr President. Um, can I ask the Minister, um, with regards to um, attainment level is all down to attendance levels as well, has he actually brought forward changes in the legislation to ensure that looked after children in the care of agencies can actually act appropriately with regards to children's attendance at school? Minister. Thank you, Mr President. No, I haven't brought any legislation forward. 